Hi everybody, this is Mel, and today we're playing Stardew Valley once again. Uh, when we last left off, we had started uh, smelting copper bars for the silo, and we explored the mines a little bit. Uh, I've now installed that skip fishing mini game. Uh, partially cloudy tomorrow. So, things should be progressing a lot quicker now. Uh, spirits are angry today. Perfect. Alright. Nope, I don't have my watering can. Let's go back. There we go. Okay, so I've got all my chickens pet, I've got my crops watered and ready to go. Uh, at this point, um, I'm going to need some more coal and some more iron ore before I can finish getting ready for the silos. So I think today is going to be a mining day. Uh, so let's head that way. Ooh, it's one of those fancy worm spots. Oh, we've got more carrot seeds. Excellent. So I'm going to go plant those real quick. That's exciting. That was an incredible find. I'm so excited to see that. Oh, there's another worm spot. Uh, looks like it's a library book this time. Oh, sounds like there was a morning dove added to the soundtrack. That's kind of neat. Alright, let's see where we left off. Level 5? Let's see if we can make it all the way today. With my energy level, I'm just hoping to make it to level 10. Um, if it's late enough, then I can go and finish off that initiation quest for the Adventurer's Guild. Which would be great. Oop, looks like we've leveled up combat, which is great. And I just remembered that that bad luck that Mulwick gave us is going to affect finding the stairs down to the next level. There we go. Oh, it's a cave carrot. I definitely want that over the cherry bomb. Be wondering why are we hanging on to the algae and not the slime? Because I can eat the algae if I get tired. Oh, there's some stairs. Oh, there's stairs too. I want to go get that uh, ore. There we go. Now go down. Okay. Oh, I need that coal. And we need more of the stone, I think. Okay. Oh, I actually have pretty good progress here. Oh, there's two more. It's just about time to eat one of those algaes. Yeah, that didn't do anything. Okay, well, I think we've got a leak too. I'm gonna check if we need the egg carrot, but I really have to avoid it. Those are using a couple quests. Oh, there's stairs. Okay. Okay, this is gonna be tricky. Oh no! Oh no, no, no!
my goodness. What a marathon. Oh, we made it to a treasure floor. And we get leather boots. I'm gonna pick those stones back up. There we go. Lovely. Now we're a little bit better protected. I'm gonna take this opportunity to leave the mine and go check out the Adventurer's Guild. Because it'll definitely be open by now. No, I'm just gonna wreck everything. Okay, and so you can buy combat gear. Oh, that's new. That's new. That's that's kind of cool. Um, you've got your monster eradication challenges here. I do know that these have to be completed for uh, perfection. We'll work on those as we can. Let's see what else we've got going on here. Is that one of those artisan? No. Quality? What? Oh, it's one of the exotic foraging items. Yeah, let's go and drop that off at the community center. Oh. Oh, it's Linus's event. Cool. Grr, sounds like those raccoons are back again. Filthy varmints. Ah, you turned up at the right moment, miss. Could you do an old man a favor? Could you go around the corner and scare those raccoons off for me? They've been causing a real mess. Thanks. Make sure you give them a good scare so they never come back. It was me. I'm sorry. I find a lot of hot, fresh food in this can. Stuff that will go to waste if I don't take it. Do you think there's something wrong with what I'm doing? So it's gross. I'm gonna be, be honest with that. But to get better reputation with him, this is the correct answer. You know it's a shame for food to go to waste. Thanks, Mel. I knew you were an open-minded person. I feel good about what I'm doing. I'm not hurting anyone. You can go on home. I promise I won't rummage in George's can anymore. You can tell him you scared off the raccoons for good. I'm just gonna switch cans. Wait. I know what you were doing, Linus. If you need food, just ask. I don't want anyone in Pelican Town to go hungry. Here, I've got a basket of zucchini fritters for you. Just make sure you dip them in my spicy marinara. Go on, take it. So the first time I saw that scene, I thought he was ashamed that he got caught, but um, now knowing more of his story, I do think he feels more alone that he's being misunderstood, because I don't think Linus searches in the cans uh, because he needs to, but that's just a lifestyle he likes living. It's like a low waste, low... very green lifestyle. That seems to be what he's promoting. Oh, there's a daffodil, but I'm full, so I shouldn't have even looked. And I forgot to hit the community center, too. Linus has got me all turned around. Let's just run up here real quick. Mm 
And there's the local Junimos. I love these guys so much. They're so cute. Exotic. There we go. Uh, looks like we need to get some tappers. That would be a great way to get some more. Bundles filled. I've got a lot of trees on my property. I could get the daffodil now. There we go. Let's do one more iron ink. I'm sorry. Copper ingot. And get everything else dropped off. I do need to go see Clint and get these opened up. Perhaps tomorrow. Okay, level one combat. We do have that bug steak recipe, which is great. A little bit of money from our farming. So we've got the parsnips and two eggs. Eggs make sure that the income stays really solid. So that's great. And that's the last iron bar we need for the silo. I do think we have enough now. Just have to decide where I want to put it. Oh, Queen of Sauce. I did miss it on Sunday, I think. Stir fry. Okay. So we got that. And that's great because that means we haven't missed any recipes this year because it's still early. Weather tomorrow is rain. Fantastic. And our luck today is neutral. That might be probably more helpful than the rainy weather. Oh, it's kitty cat day! You see this cat here? I found it sitting outside the entrance to your farm. I think it's a stray, poor little thing. I think it likes this place. Hey, um, don't you think this farm could use a good cat? We will definitely adopt the cat. Um, and then we're going to name it Abby. Looks a lot like my cat who passed this year. Well, little Abby, you be a good kitty now, okay? Okay. Let's refill the water bucket and we're going to get on with those chores. my first potatoes from that harvest. Um, I'm going to decide where I want to put this silo. I think back here would be great. put it right in here and I think that's going to be a good spot for it. So let me just grab, I think it's stone and copper and clay. Let me check real quick. All right, so I do not have enough clay yet. I need 10 clay. Um, so that's going to require some digging with my hoe. Um, I could do that in the mines. Let's see. Let's take these and these. One of those. And we'll go take those to Gunther. And then I think after that we can hit up the mines and see if we can find some clay. I'm just gotta keep looking for those trash can hats. Looks like a good day to play catch, huh? 
If you weren't a girl, I'd ask you to play catch. I want to play catch with you. Really? I guess I underestimated you. My arm's a little sore, but maybe next time. Yeah, we're gonna break down those gendered stereotypes, my dude. This is my favorite thing, thank you. That's me becoming George's best friend first. Oh, Alex is doing pretty good too. Hmm. I'll have to see if I can find a daffodil to give him, because he actually likes the flowers okay. Might end up being able to dance with him first at the flower dance. That would be funny. Okay, let's get these to Gunther. Trash can. I got our first reward. That's great. I think we get cauliflower. Yes. Okay, so that's great. So we can add those to our farm. And boost our farming a little bit more too. Oh, CD. Alright. Hey, Clint. Process my geodes, please. Ooh, that's a new one. It's alamite. And sandstone, copper. All right, let me take a break and go drop off some of these. There we go. Let's go do a little more. More ore. Some stone. Come on, give me something good. Ooh, the dwarf hat. I'm sorry, the dwarvish helm. That's pretty good. I usually struggle to find that one. Okay, so I am going to need to drop off a lot of this stuff before we head to the mines. I do not have enough room to treasure hunt. Hi, Abigail. Hey, sorry in advance if I say anything rude. I didn't get much sleep last night. What do you want? That was unnecessary. Ah, there's nothing like a strong cup of tea in the morning. If you say so as you're gardening. I guess it was a really good cup of tea if you're still talking about it. Oh yeah, daffodil for Alex. Thanks. Did he actually like that? Am I remembering wrong? Oh, apparently he liked it enough, because... Uh, it's neutral. Yeah, because he's at one heart now. Oh, there's Jody. What did you say? It's 12 p.m. already? My goodness. Did you watch the game last night? Or wait, do you even have a TV set? It's a fair question. I do have a TV set in the game. Remember to cover your mouth when you sneeze. Then make sure to wash your hands. He seems to be leaving the office for earlier and earlier. No wonder it's so hard to find him. Rabbit's in the round. Okay, so I moved the scarecrow so he's a little bit closer to the middle here. He should still be able to hit all of the plants in my little garden. I was just thinking I should probably buy some more parsnips because they really help being able to level up my farming quickly. But it's fine. It's Wednesday. I can think about doing it tomorrow. 
Since Pierre is closed on Wednesdays, never forget that. I don't know you well enough to trust you, sorry. Alright, yeah, I remember. We made it to level 10 last time. We got our new weapon, so things are gonna go... Oh, it's bugs. I hate these bugs. Alright, that's a lot of coal. Okay, and then this patch here is what I was thinking of when I was saying coming down here to look for clay. You can hoe up these dirt patches and sometimes it'll drop clay. Oh, carrot. It's better than algae. Okay, let's keep going. So this is a pretty big space where we could look for clay. I just want to be careful about any monsters lurking in the dark. Especially those uh, cocoon bugs like that. There we go. Alright, it's not going too bad. That club's really making a difference with those guys. Okay, that was super successful. We got all this, all these artifacts from digging. We got all the clay we need, because um, I know I have at least three back at the base, back at the farm. I've got some more coal so I can smelt some more ingots. I've got, I found an Omni Geode super early in the game. That's amazing. Uh, so that was super successful, super exciting. But we're going to go ahead and drop all this and take a little break because that, that is so great. We're going to be able to talk to the dwarf super early at this rate. There we go. We got the 10. We got the 100 stone. We don't... Yeah, we've got 100 gold and 5 copper bars. Yeah, we are looking pretty. We can do the silo first thing tomorrow. Oh, and we've got level 2 farming, so we can make the mayonnaise machine now, which I definitely want to get on because that'll increase our money that we can get from the eggs. We can make sprinklers, stone fences. This is... We are... Things are looking up. Oh, level 2 mining, so we can make staircases now. Man, we are just sailing through. It's only day 10 of spring. Day 11 now. The bookseller is in town today. Okay. So I'm definitely going to want to check that out, but I'm going to take a quick break, and then we'll be back at, the, back at it again. All right. Break time's over. Let's go ahead and get started on the next day here. Uh, so we should have enough for our silo. Yes, we do. Um, let's grab the scythe and make sure we've got everything cleared out here and ready to uh, build. 
All right, what's the weather tomorrow? Clear and sunny. How's our luck today? Ah, uh, bad luck. Okay. What's the valley you've got to do? Uh, make sure you've got a scarecrow. Need a bigger backpack, go to the general store. Okay. So, that's all good. Let's see what we've got here. Um, Robin wants us to find her axe. Fantastic. Okay, and then I want to put the silo up in this area. Looks like that won't be a problem. There's nothing to clear out here. Let's go check on the chickens. Okay, so they've got food and they're looking good. Ooh, we got our first huge egg. Which I think needs to go to the community center. It does. Okay, so we can do that. All of our plants are watered. Doesn't look like I have anything ready to harvest. Let me just grab our stuff here, because we've got a lot of errands to run today. So we need to go to the museum. We need to go see Gunther. I'm sorry, go see Clint and have him break open this geode. And it is raining today, so we should do some fishing and try and catch that catfish we're going to need for the community center as well. Um, as I mentioned already, I have the skip fishing minigame mod on my game here. Uh, because I'm really bad at the fishing minigame and I don't really like doing it. Okay. Egg should go up here. I suppose I could have brought some more uh, more things that go in the bundles here, but my backpack's full, so this is fine. And there's really no rush to fill the community center once you have the item. As long as it's in your chest, you can drop it off anytime. Oh yeah, the bookseller today. Let's go check that out. I think he's back up here. I've gotten a few spoilers since the last time I checked this out, so... Hey there, buddy. Marcello's books. Buy books. They are... super pricey. Oh, that's cool. You see the value of your items? Run faster through... Oh man, these are so cool! Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. I wish I had... <laughs> I wish I could do something with that. I wish I had the money right now. But we are still early on. It's day 11? Oh, the month's half over. Hmm. We are running out of time. Alright, Clint. Pop open this geode for me. Clay. Perfect. did that give me? Oh! Melon seeds! Nice! That'll be good in summer. Okay, so at this point we're gonna need to head back to the farm and pick up some more items. Uh, before I do that, I'm gonna fish for a little bit. Um, before we- yeah, we're gonna fish for a little bit and then that'll give me some stuff to take with me to drop off. Oh, boom. First try. Cool. Oh, I hear someone moving. It's not Sam, so that's okay. Let me talk to these guys real quick. I've never met a farmer before. Maybe someday you can teach me how to grow vegetables. 
Well, you take the seeds and you put them in the dirt and you water them. <laughs> what do you mean, where's mom? You just left with her. Boom. At this point, I'm gonna go get our stuff so we can set up the silo. It's nice that we have the fish here to make up for that egg we had to donate to the community center. Boom, boom, boom. Let's see. We need clay. We need copper. We need stone. I think that's everything. And then we do have... Do we have enough gold? Do we have enough gold for the silo? Yes, okay, it's only a hundred gold for the silo, so we're good. We'll just go up through these mountains here, look for any forage as we're on our way to Robins. tighter back here than I realized. I'm gonna put it right here. We can always move it later if we decide we like a better location. And then let's talk to Robin. The rain doesn't stop me from getting a job done. Although soggy wood isn't a joy to work with. Yeah, no. When it rains, I have a good excuse to work on my gadgets all day. It must be kind of boring for you, though. Not really. I actually love rainy days. How's the farming business going? It's parsnip season, isn't it? It is. Oh, look at them hanging out. That's cute. Is that new? I've never seen... I've never actually seen Abigail come over to visit Sebastian there. He's always talking about it in his dialogue, but I didn't know she actually stopped by. There we go. Yeah, we do need to smelt some more copper bars. do need to go find Robin's axe, so let's just head on down and pick that up down here south of the farm. It's going to be in the forest down here near Marnie's house where the uh, spring onions grow. And it's been a few days since I've harvested spring onions too, so there should be a few. Oh! Ew, it smells. Why is it locked? I want to explore the sewers. I think Gunther has the key. Professor Gunther, the man who runs the museum? Why do you think he has it? I saw a big rusty old key fall out of his pocket one time. A creepy sewer door like this has just got to be a match for that big rusty old key. There's something moving around in there. So I don't, I'm not sure what triggers that cutscene. I'm not sure if it's you donate a certain number of items to the museum or it's just a certain time into the gameplay. I've never really been sure about that. Froggies! Oh, 
There's another horseradish. That's nice. And a spring onion. What is that? Oh, another horseradish. Goodness. Okay. I think that's going to be all of our spring onions here. I haven't earned any achievements yet, so Hat Mouse isn't in business yet. The hats are actually rewards for different achievements you've unlocked during the game. And so he starts showing up after you've unlocked the first one. Oh, there's a dandelion. I would say that was a pretty good haul from the forest. Hmm, I wonder if I get rid of this grass, if the bluegrass will expand. Perhaps I should have waited just a few more days though to do that, because Robin's coming to build my silo. Oops. Do, 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 do. And a copper bar. Okay. With the rain like this, I feel like we could either go down into the mines again or we could do some fishing. Um, I'm leaning towards fishing, uh, cause that way we could fish up a bunch of catfish and those would be pretty valuable. Let's see what we've got for the quest here today. Uh, kill crabs in the mine. Uh, maybe. Like, I'm not against doing it, but I feel like they're a little bit hard to find, so... I'll pick up the quest, and if I happen to finish it, then I'll turn it in. And there goes Clint. I don't think I've actually socialized with him today. Today would be a good day to explore the mines. Who knows, you might find some rare ores. It could be a good day to explore the mine, but we've chosen fishing. Oh, a bream! I need that for the quest is I'm sorry, the community center as well. Okay, looks like it's just gonna be bream because it's too late in the day for catfish, but I'm okay with that as well. Oh, a bream! I need that for the quest is I'm sorry, the community center as well. Okay, looks like it's just going to be bream because it's too late in the day for catfish, but I'm okay with that as well. Ooh, treasure. Except it's coal. Alright, looks like we've leveled up fishing. Oh boy, look at all these. I can't use the bait yet, so I think I'll just let that go, but I'm definitely taking that rice. Those rice shoots, that's amazing. Uh-oh, which one am I gonna drop? Uh, algae, definitely. Okay, that is a pretty good catch today. Oh, hey, Harvey. Looks like you go to the bar on Thursdays, huh? Hi, Mel. Uh, read anything interesting in the library lately? Heh, <laughs> well, um, I'll see you around then. Okay. Okay, let's 
let's see how we're doing on socializing. We're doing really good with Alex, Sam, Leah. Not doing too good with Haley, which is okay with me. Oh, Daffodil. Okay. Mm, I don't have room in my inventory for it. Even after I drop off the bream at the community center. So I think that one will just have to let it go. There we go. Boom. And then we've got some more geodes that we can take over to Clint. Got the rice shoots, I think. Uh, I might have time to plant the rice shoots. It's only 11. And then... I'm not sure if I want to hang on to the bream and the smallmouth bass for recipes later, or if I want to get the money now. So I think I'll plant the rice shoots and I'll think on it. Need to find a body of water. Oops. Oh. You're sleepy. I don't think I'm going to have time to plant this rice after all. At least not next to a body of water. Oh, my inventory is still full. Yeah, I want the money. They're still pretty early game. There is something planted there. Okay. Okay. So let's head into bed. Fishing is now level two and we can craft bait. Uh, we can probably get a new rod from Willie then, but we might. I think I'm gonna hold off on that. I don't really like getting the in-between rods. I usually just skip and go straight to the iridium rod, because I usually unlock that pretty early on. But this is where we're gonna call it an episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Bye.